Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial video how to pair the Arctis wireless dongle to either its original headset or to a Cyberpunk headset or vice versa, how to pair, technically speaking, any headset with any of the Arctis dongles. And um, the most common use case is the one that I'm going to show you. Let's say you bought a Cyberpunk PC headset, which is what you're currently seeing here in the GG engine, and you lose your dongle and you order the wireless replacement dongle from SteelSeries. And you'll notice that the dongle will actually not work with the Cyberpunk headset out of the box. It will always basically say you need to reconnect your headset because it's looking for the standard Arctis one wireless headset and not the cyberpunk one because again the dongle you're getting is for the original arctis one pc version there is a xbox version too but the same thing applies and i'll go over those so right now i have connected the arctis one wireless cyberpunk headset and it is connected to its original dongle now i have in front of me a replacement dongle which is an arctis one replacement dongle that i received just a few days ago from steel series now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to close down the GG engine. It's still gonna be open here in the system tray. So you see it's still open here, which is fine. So what we wanna do now is open your file explorer, do your C drive, go to your program files. And again, I'm on Windows 11. Uh, this might be different uh, on your computer, it might not be the C drive, but in most cases it is uh, C drive, program files, still series, then GG. And then we are in the folder with the executables. We just right click somewhere over here, say open in terminal. So this opens the terminal directly in that folder, which saves you, you know, opening the terminal and typing in your path manually. Now the file that we want to launch is the still series GG client.exe. So I'm going to start typing here steel and i'm just gonna tap here till the client comes up it suggests me the file the exe file i'm gonna hit space and then the flag dash dash dev and you hit enter what this does is it launches the client here in an overlay there we go it's here and i'm gonna press Control shift i this gives me the developer console here, which is actually what we want. And uh, in case this is on elements, you can switch over to sources. The sources tab is what we need. And you can also move this a little bit around to get more space. So the reason why we want to do this is we want to go over here to engine. There we go. And for this now, I will disconnect my headset and take over with a voiceover. So what I'm doing here, I'm disconnecting the headset, I'm turning the headset off, the Arctis Cyberpunk headset, and I'm also disconnecting the dongle. You see the color just changed. Now what I'm doing instead, I'm going to plug in the standard Arctis 1 dongle, and you see this shows up here now. So it detects the Arctis 1 wireless PC dongle as a separate uh, device. Now, what I'm now doing is I'm plugging in the Cyberpunk headset and it says reconnect headset. So this is the error that you're getting if you have the replacement dongle plus your Cyberpunk headset. So once that is plugged in, what I'll show you here in a second is I will try to pair. So I'll go over here, pair. So this is what you'll be seeing is uh, state is not connected. That's the problem. You cannot move forward. Now, what we want to do is Again, here under sources, I'm looking for the file index.js. That's important. Look for the index.js, I'll uh, select it. And what I'm looking for here is this async function B. I'm highlighting this here. Obviously, I'm already there. You can, with control F, and I'll show this, you can just search for this function and look exactly what I'm showing you here, async function B, and then I'm looking for this function M call here. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking this with a breakpoint. So this blue thing here on the side that I just did is a breakpoint. Click that so it gets blue highlighted. And then we're focusing on the variable N here. Now what I'm doing here in a second is the following. I'm going back in here. I'm tr asking to pair. And now what it does, the breakpoint will actually halt at this function. So we are stopped now. And we can analyze real quick what N is, which is the 
receiver ID. So what I'm going to do here is in my console, I switched over to the console, I'll type in N and it reads out it's 166. Now the interesting thing here is that the device ID that it's looking for is obviously the Arctis 1 headset. We have the Cyberpunk headset, which is not 166 though. So what we are looking for is the 189. So if you have the 189 headset, use the 189 code but it's automatically looking for 166, which we don't have connected right now. So what we are now doing is I'm typing in N equals 189, which is the Cyberpunk headset. And what I'm now doing is I press play here at the top right corner, the dialog pops up and we can start the pairing process. Now this will take a couple of seconds like in the standard process, but once that is done, what we'll see is we are successfully paired. Now the interesting thing is that the dongle now thinks it's connected to our Arctis 1 headset. So it will appear as Arctis 1 headset, not as the Cyberpunk. It shouldn't really matter. The functionality of the devices are the same. But what we see here is, here at the top is the Arctis 1 uh, dongle. This is the Arctis 1 headset. Then right below is the Xbox version, the dongle and then the headset with 184 and 185. With 188 and 189, we have the Cyberpunk Arctis Windows version dongle, and then the Arctis Cyberpunk Windows receiver, or the headset with 189. And then we also have the two 190 and 191, the Cyberpunk Arctis 1 dongle and headset for the Xbox. So those are the codes that we basically overwrite. And again, you always basically overwrite it with the headset code. And you see this here, TX always indicates the transceiver, which is the dongle or the transmitter. And RX is always your headset. So 166, 185, 189, and 191 are the interesting IDs here. So last but not least, what I wanna do is we'll repair it with the Arctis Wireless Cyberpunk dongle. So what I'll do is I'm connecting the dongle now. You see it lights up. It will not pair immediately, but we'll halt it again. And what you see here is quite interesting. When we type in N again, it actually says 183. And I think this indicates that the headset is already paired. So this would fail. And this is why we get our X here. So again, we'll overwrite the same thing. Our headset didn't change. So it's still going to be 189. So we'll write N equals 189. We'll go back to our source, hit play. The dialog comes up, we'll hit pair, and we're pairing it back to our Arctis Wireless Cyberpunk dongle. So you could technically pair any headset to any dongle. You just need to know the ID of your headset. To be more specific, uh, this will work for Arctis 1 headsets. I would not use this or do this with, uh, let's say, Arctis 7s or other versions of the Arctis line. Again, I only tested this with models within the Arctis 1 line. Again, as said in the beginning, try this at your own risk and let me know if it worked. Thanks.